No, this is not the new iPhone 16 Pro. Everyone's buzzing about this is a hologram. It's made possible by Proto Hologram, a company leading the way in interactive hologram communication. Proto Holograms CEO David Musbaum with us now. Welcome to Cheddar, sir. Good to see you. Oh, hey, Dave. This is great. Thanks for having me here. Um, I couldn't be there, so I beamed in. You are in California? Where are you? Yeah, we're in Van Nuys, so I'm just about 3,000 miles away from you, and I'm beaming in. When you can't be there, you could beam in, and, uh, and so that's what we're doing. This is a Proto-M tabletop unit, and uh, we can beam anybody anywhere, anytime, and now I get to beam uh, into your show, which is kind of cool. This is incredible. Got a little Star Trek vibe going on here, but what is Proto? Well, Proto is the world's first uh, spatial computing platform that doesn't require a headset. It's like VR. Uh, without having to put on anything. Uh, everybody can see it, everybody can interact with it, and it gives you the supernatural ability to beam anybody anywhere, anytime for any reason. And so it gives people uh, opportunities to connect with other people from around the world uh, in times when they couldn't physically do it. Like doctors are beaming into hospitals, uh, teachers are beaming into schools, and now I'm beaming onto the show and that's what this that's what this technology does it is really incredible the, the difference to me and i've done a thousand zooms and zoom interviews is that it feels like you're here this this is a much superior form of engaging conversation david thank you yes uh the idea behind proto is that you want to create as much real presence as possible my background is in broadcasting and i thought what if instead of uh, talking into a microphone and hearing your voice come out of a speaker or instead of looking into a television camera and seeing your face on a screen, what if I could broadcast you? What if I could beam you somewhere? And what if I could beam you into unlimited places simultaneously? And so that's what we've developed uh, here at Proto. It's kind of great. I can imagine this being very effective in a boardroom because if someone's zooming into a room of 10 or 12 or even 50 or 100, it's very difficult to command that room is that a potential application that's being used today? Absolutely. Uh, when a person beams in somewhere, uh, there, is a, there isn't an emotional and physical connection that physically exists when a person is actually there. And so Proto and the shadows and the reflections, the, the reflection on the floor and my volumetric presence creates the uh, effect that I'm, I'm actually there in the room. Even though I stand only about 14 inches tall today, I appear like I'm actually there. Honesty, trust uh, matters. Body language, nonverbal cues really tell the story, especially when there is a lot to talk about. It's a combination of Star Trek and Willy Wonka, Mike TV, David TV today. Uh, I, love the, I love the mime action. You guys were at Fanatics allowing people to take a photograph, if you will, of famous athletes from various sports. How does that work? So you could scan anybody. So you could either beam somebody in live, which is what I'm doing today, or you could scan somebody, pre-record their essence, and then play them back inside of any one of our displays. You can also capture their AI persona. That becomes really engaging, especially when somebody can't physically beam in. But at uh, Fanatics, we took some of the world's most famous athletes from from uh, Major League Soccer and, uh, and football and, uh, and all the different sports. And fans got to engage with them. Fans got to talk to them. They got to take selfies uh, and, 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 and be with their uh, favorite players. These are great shareable moments. This isn't something that we typically do at, at, uh, you know, at, at, at these events and at these experiential types of uh, programs. Proto is a, is a technology that is being used in boardrooms, in hospitals, uh, you know, in malls. And these fan experiences are a lot of fun to do. In fact, we're doing one uh, this weekend uh, at the Sphere with Dana White and the athletes who are fighting on the card uh, that night. So this is going to be next level. I couldn't have imagined this was going to actually happen when I conceived of this idea a few years ago in my living room. And now we're going to have holograms of some of the world's most famous athletes uh, at the at the sphere uh, this weekend. Also, it's being used in museums with art around the world. Tell us about that. You know, we don't just beam people places. We can now beam billions of dollars worth of art around the world. Figure this, right? So Christie's is a great example. Christie's auction houses around the world 
They spend so much money. I don't even want to know how much it costs uh, just for the insurance premiums alone to send a $70 million Giacometti statue on a uh, roadshow prior to auction. But now you could beam from the safety and security of their own individual showrooms into all Christie's locations prior to auction. Uh, more people see it, so more people could bid on it, and there's no potential damage that may happen when you're going on a very uh, expensive, bad for the environment, and potentially damaging road trip. Okay, you mentioned where this is today. Where could it be 10 years from now? Could this be in everyone's home, everyone's office? Yeah, we're working on, so we started out with the Proto Epic, which is the seven foot tall unit. So if you're six foot three, you appear six foot three. We've shrunk it down into this Mike TV, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory version, the Proto M. Not just 10 years time, I think, give me a, a year and a half or two years time, this device or, or similar looking version will be sub $1,000. And I think this is what's gonna be, not just in boardrooms, I think this is what's gonna be in everybody's living room. I was gonna say, I can imagine every grandparent around the world, this is an entirely new way to really feel like you're in the room with your grandchild. Are we just communicating yeah. over a Wi-Fi line? Yeah, this is just Wi-Fi. I started Proto in my living room as a means of, my parents are both in their 80s and yeah. they live in New Jersey. And my children at the time when I started this, my daughters were three and four years old. Now I have three children under 10. And uh, I was trying to get them to communicate with each other on Zoom or on a, on a FaceTime. And you just can't hold up a phone and say, hey, you know, Lucy, get to know Grandma Joyce on a phone. They're like, what is this thing? Is this a video? I don't quite know what this is. So now they beam into each other's homes. We have a Proto M in our living room and my parents have a Proto M in their kitchen. And using just an iPhone, they beam into each other's homes. My kids and my parents know each other like they are living next door to each other. And that's really what this technology solves. It's, you know, the, the, there's no communication gap. Uh, and there's no distance. It solves a lot of problems. And I can imagine if you uh, have a doctor's appointment, which so many of us do uh, virtually, now you could literally show someone a bruise or a condition and maybe never need to yes. visit the doctor's yes. office. Doctors like at West Cancer Centers right now, doctors are beaming from Memphis into the most rural areas in Tennessee. And so patients and doctors are communicating like never before. Uh, and in other places in the world, in India and in other locations, some of the most rural, remote locations in the world, uh, patients are beaming into hospitals, into the big cities where doctors uh, are. And that's really important. So it's not just for uh, uh, learning and, and entertainment. It's also healthcare. It's very, very, it's, uh, it's a great for the environment and it's great for uh, uh, this kind of relationship between doctors and patients. Dave, Dave one second, I'm actually hearing I, let me I, let me step out for a second. I'll be right back. Hang on. Now, now this doesn't. What? I'll I'll just I'll just hold this place until he gets back. Howie Mandel. I'm Howie Mandel. It, I'm the actual it, Howie Mandel. Is this the real Howie Mandel, or am I being fooled? You you uh, look I, like I, Howie. No, no, no. I'm here. This is how I this is how I want to uh, live the rest of my life in a proto hologram. I don't want to be anywhere anymore. I want to be everywhere all the time without being able to be touched. <laughs> you are a notorious germaphobe. Is that why you found interest in Proto? Can I be honest with you? So I live online. And I, uh, a couple of years ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this technology and I DM'd David and I said, I, I, I need to be involved. I need to be... I need to do this. I need to, you don't have to pay me. I just want to be part of this technology because I think this is next level. And uh, as it turns out, um, I met with David and then I ended up investing in the company and I ended up being really involved and I share office space with them. And this is how I do shows. I can be in, uh, well, I could be on your show and wherever there is any one of these all at the same time and all day long. I live as a hologram. I do, whether I'm on Cheddar with you or, you know, they just, this is a lot of fun. They put one in at, at JFK Airport. So I just uh, uh, bother people uh, when they land and have them open up their luggage and look at me. Uh, this is the only way I'll go to a doctor's office right now. 
and uh, this is the way I talk to my kids. And I've been married for 44 years, and this is the way I'm keeping my marriage going. She thinks she likes me better as a hologram than to actually be in the house with her. <laughs> that is truly remarkable. Um, could you do shows? Could comedians do shows? Could Taylor Swift do but a not, concert here? Not only can I do shows, not only have I done concerts in more than one location at once, but the most amazing part of this, and this is what I say to everybody, I remember the first time I got my iPhone, and I thought, oh, my God, this is the, the most amazing phone. And then I, thought, then I saw, oh, I can put my pictures on it. And then I saw I can compute on it. And the last thing I do is a, a phone call. This is the easiest thing that I can do, sit and talk to you and really be on this show. But more importantly, like I'll, I'll give you an example. I just showed my buddies. I, I, I just, I just uh, signed a deal with uh, Skechers, and I'm not here to advertise Skechers, but I'm telling you I did. And Skechers is the number three shoe brand all over the world. And I said, listen, you signed me to be an ambassador uh, just locally, domestically, just in North America. But, and I showed them this, David was, you could just record me. This could be a tape, but it isn't. This is live. But you could record me for two minutes. Once they have me talking for just two minutes and my image, I could be on the screen the AI advancement in this company is above and beyond. I can have this conversation with you in Spanish, in Japanese, in Chinese, and it is my voice, totally lip synced in the way that I would do it. The, the implementation of this technology, what you're looking at now and what you're talking to is just so low level, but I can do this almost in real time in any language, in any country, simultaneously and it is me it's not somebody dubbing me at the same time as you're watching this graphics could be on the screen interactive graphics that people could actually scan and uh you know take the information buy the 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 product you know we did uh, 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 a partnership with universal where olivia rodrigo when she dropped her last album partnered with target and she was in a target store she was in new york but she was in target stores here in l.a and the, the fans went nuts because this is a real live meet and greet and they were buying their products. They're scanning and downloading and streaming her music in real time and buying her merch. I can uh, have my uh, kids, I'm a grandparent, I could, I could have my kids meet my family in Canada in real time. And the beauty is on this side, this thing that you're looking at right now is a small one. And really right now they're about six grand, which is really affordable but the beauty is in order for me to beam all you need is 4k so i could literally just be on this side on an iphone and be in the room with you because yeah. on the top of this box that you're look that you're looking at and cool. on the big ones this is a camera so <clears throat> i'm actually looking at you i'm in the room with you <laughs> i know exactly what's going on in that room and I see that guy over there with his cup of coffee with his hand in his pocket. You see him? Look, I, to, look to your right. I see, do see, see him. him. That's, my, yeah. that's my Booker Dean. So I'm in the room. Here's, here's my question, and I, sh and I can answer this, but uh, to you, Howie, what's the difference between Zoom, Google, Microsoft, and what we're doing here in terms of how it feels? Because I'm not a, a techno, uh, technical person, I, the only thing I could say is I could be on FaceTime. I could be on Zoom. But in those two instances, I'm on FaceTime and I'm on Zoom. Right now, on Proto, I'm in the room. I am there. That's the difference. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. And again, it's, it's the... You feel like you're in the room. It, it's the interaction. It, it feels real. It's astounding. Is, is David still there? Not, if David is there. I'll bring him back in. But when I'm in a club and I'm entertaining, I can see the whole room. I talk to the person in the second row with the red shirt. They can't believe it. They interact. You should see this in concert. You should see this everywhere. Everybody's got to get on the proto board. I have to, uh, I actually have to go to the men's room where we will not be beaming in. Please I don't. will be peeing in. Yeah. Bye. D don't bring that, but thank you. For, appreciate that very much. Wow. This is unbelievable, David. How do people get this more is, information? How do they learn more? Uh, at Proto Hologram on everything. So at P-R-O-T-O Hologram on everything. So we're on uh, all the social medias at protohologram.com. Uh, or we'll just be beaming into your home pretty soon. So maybe just uh, uh, 
uh, you know, take a beat, and, and we'll see you soon. Well, please thank Howie as well. It is Proto Hologram across the socials. David, it's been a great pleasure. The applications are endless. Thanks for being here on Cheddar. Thanks. Boom. <laughs>